Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Okay, we've got something for the beginners here and we're gonna do a bunch of neat stuff to Mary Had a Little Lamb, okay? So let's play the basic melody of it first. The basic melody of Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> close-ups of all these two but now for the melody note version just the main melody of this song we go open second string third string second fret third string open third string second fret again three open second strings okay so I'll play that again Okay, now we go second, um, now we go second fret of the third string, three times, and then we go open second string, two times on the third fret of the second string, and that went... So that whole first part sounds like this. Now, we begin again, the same thing. Now here's where it changes a little bit. We go, this is third string, second fret. So we go 3rd string, 2nd fret twice, 2nd string open, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 3rd string open. Okay, so that second part sounds like this. So the whole song sounds like this. Let's go one step further and let's add in a few of our basic claw hammer strokes all right so where we're going to add them in is we're going to add them in where we do the second string open twice all right so just listen to this and we'll we'll talk about it I just took those melody notes and I added in a few strum thumbs along with it. So I did my Mary had a little lamb. Okay. Then I did the D7 chord, which is your uh, first fret of your second string and your second fret of your third string. And I did. Um, a basic claw hammer stroke there with the third string as your first note. Okay, and you do that twice. And then we went open and the third fret of the second string. Okay, and then we did that all over again. Right at 
the very end, we just did an open second string, and we did a second fret of the third string, and then open. Open third string. All right. So that was one little step up from the basic, uh, the melody note version. All right. Now, we're going to add in our basic claw hammer stroke. So we play the first part the same. Now we play the second string open, do our brush thumb, we do that two times. Okay, I'll play that again for you. Alright, now we put our D7 chord down and we're going to do the third string. do a brush thumb after it twice and then we're going to do from that first version so it's going to all sound like this that whole first part okay now the second part uh, the first thing repeats. Now's where it changes. When you put this on, um, when you put this D7 down, so the last part here, you put the um, you put hold your D7 down that third string second fret and your strum thumb open second string second string or second fret of the third string and then open third string and then your third string open strum thumb twice I'll play through the whole thing now This first part, let's do um, just a little bit more. So let's do a slide from the second fret of the third string to the fourth fret. See how that just gives you a nice little lilt there? Instead of open second string, third fret of the second string, I did that 2 4 slide again on the third string. And that sounded kind of nice. Okay, so now we go back to the beginning and we do our slide again. Let's go another step up and we will do that slide <laughs> for the first part and that's a 2-4 slide on the third string. that sounds all right and then we do that slide again yeah, let's add even more to it here we go did there 
there was is I did some double thumbing. So that means anytime you have a single note, um, so when we go, when we go, Mary had a, we can do a double thumb, which just means we pop our thumb off in between each of those notes. So here we go. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, we can do that all over the place and we can throw those in. So I added in the slide, I added in some strum thumbs, I added in the double thumbing, and I also added in a hammer on when we go to that D7 chord. Okay, then I added in a slide, that 2 4 slide again. All right, and then finally, when I got to the uh, D7 chord again, I did a pull off. So there I did a hammer on and a pull off on that second string of the first fret. Play that again for you and then we'll do all these close ups. Now for that last part, I'm going to do it again and show you it with the double thumbing at it. drop thumbing okay because when we're building something up we can take it from that very beginner and we can do a lot more to it all right so here we go let's see if you can spot what I'm doing here So a drop thumb is when we take our, uh, it's, it's the same timing as our double thumb and we double thumb on that fifth string. So instead we just drop it down. something there for all different levels um, with such a simple fun song to play you can do a lot with it and I hope this shows you that you can do this with every song there is out there you can break it down to the basic melody you can build it up by doing those things and it's just a lot of fun so before I go I just want you to always remember that Jesus loves you bye bye